so as you know that uh, previous to that india and pakistan both uh, don't have the membership of the aco Hello everyone my name is Sindhu and today we will uh, discuss the topic SCO Shanghai Cooperation Organizations as you know that SCO is a largest regional uh, group and uh, so today we will see in this video that uh, uh, how it's formed what is historical background and all these thing so the point we will cover in the video is why it is in news and what is sco uh, historical background aim of the sco challenges significant uh, for india and the conclusion so as you know that recently uh, sco meeting is conducted it's in islamabad pakistan uh, so we will discuss and we will see the how the sco is formed and uh, what is the reason behind it and uh, so let's see dive in the video and so why it is in news so as you know that 23rd meeting of the uh, sco uh, conducted in islamabad pakistan and uh, external affair minister uh, s jay shankar has attended the event and the, what is the main uh, focus area in that uh, discussion was terrorism separatism and extremism so what is sco SCO is a Shanghai Cooperation Organizations. As you know, that name also said cooperation. Cooperation means cooperation between all the regional and the all the neighbors of, of the uh, area. Okay, so it's a permanent intergovernmental international body founded in 15 June 2001 in Shanghai, China. now uh, this we will discuss about the historical background of sco so sco uh, its roots lies in shanghai five so in 1996 uh, shanghai five have created uh, established uh, with the help of a member country kazakhstan china kyrgyzstan russia and tajikistan so Russia China and all the central asian country uh, to cooperate and uh, build up mutual trust and after that in 2001 shanghai five renamed as sco and uzbekistan got added uh, in the list so in 2001 basically it's formed in 2001 officially uh, and uh, uzbekistan got got in the list so total six member after that in 2017 uh, india and pakistan officially joined as a full time member so as you know that uh, previous to that india and pakistan both uh, don't have the membership of the aco but uh, uh, both country wanted to uh, get in the list because as you know that central asian country are very rich in resources and everything that we can uh, get and also the, uh, from the point of view of con connectivity so that's why in 2017 we officially get into the list iran came in 2003 so iran also joined and belarus in 2024 so now if you you will see the member total member is 10 and the other observer and the dialogue partners so uh, now we will see the aim of the seo so we will see that what is the aim of the seo so why it is created what is the mo motto behind that so strengthening mutual trust and good neighborliness so as you see that it's a com it's a motto and agenda of sco to mutual trust and good neighborliness promote cooperation in political affairs economic trade scientific technical cultural education is uh, educational sphere energy transportation tourism environment for protections so these are the theme uh, on which we will work uh, together to <coughs> to build a mutual trust and uh, and we also play a role of being a good neighbor okay and safeguard of regional peace 
as you know that central asian uh, country is rich in resources but uh, there is also uh, the golden crescent area so iran pakistan afghanistan and also the hub of terrorism afghanistan and pakistan so that's why it's necessary to build a peace in the region and also to enhance the uh, life of the people now we will see that uh, how it will be significant for india okay so cooperation competitions and connectivity so india can revamp its strategy for geo strategic uh, strategic interest in the carbon rich area hydrocarbon rich so as i have uh, previously mentioned that uh, there is a lot of resources lies in the uh, area okay uh, in the central asian uh, region and uh, that is a potential so a potential to um, produce a lot of energy uh, and also the market uh, a lot of market so that's why it's uh, important for india to cooperate with the country and get access to the resources and also find a market for the indian goods and services and connectivity as you know that if the trade will increase so uh, we have a currently we have a less connectivity with the south central asian country so that's why it's necessary to through the uh, through uh, this grouping uh, we can enhance our uh, central asian central asian and south asian uh, connectivity and uh, as you know that so uh, very famous connectivity thing is chawar port and uh, instc it means international north south transport corridor so as you know that we are uh, we are currently uh, have a very low bilateral trade with central asian country and uh, as well as russia uh, too so that's why it's necessary to build a connectivity so that uh, we will have some uh, short uh, route uh, to get connected with the central asian country as well as russia so this is important and akshavad agreement as well regional security uh, security terrorism combined with growing chinese influence so how uh, competitions and connectivity so connectivity cooperation we are competition competition with uh, mainly with china as you know that china is uh, expanding its power and uh, also want to uh, find all the resource rich area so uh, to counter the dominance and the influence of china in that central asian region india also need to uh, get connected with the central asian country so that uh, so that uh, we will also extract the resources and also cooperate with the peoples and also we will get the market our economic interest also will be uh, get to this grouping what is the challenges what is the challenges in uh, doing all these thing that uh, that is helpful for india so balancing ties with russia china and the western bloc as you know that sometimes uh, seo is refer as a uh, asian nato because it's a, uh, almost cover a 40% of the populations and it's the largest regional grouping so that's why balancing ties and uh, china want china want to use uh, seo as a counter to the uh, western bloc uh, nato and all so that's why it's uh, uh, necessary because as you know that india is a, a group a group member of the quad also and uh, seo also so this is um, and uh, russia and china is uh, not the member in the quad and all so that's why it's necessary for india to balance the power and the relation with pakistan so as you know that our relation um, after independence our relation with pakistan is not uh, as good as we thought so that's why uh, it's in a, it's a challenging part to how to uh, connect with the pakistans uh, so th that we will get the entry uh, entry to uh, direct entry to the central Ash Ash uh, asian country and uh, uh, do whatever uh, beneficial for our interest and also for uh, for the regional people belt and road initiative as you know that except india every almost every member of su almost su had uh, has a 
टेन मेम्बर्स सो ऑलमोस्ट ऑल मेम्बर्स हैज एग्रीड फॉर द बेल्ट एंड रोड इनिशिएटिव ऑफ चाइना बट इंडिया ऑलवेज अपोजेज टू द बेल्ट एंड रोड इनिशिएटिव एज यू नो दैट अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज कश्मीर रीजन सो इंडिया इज दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर इंडिया दैट दैट बेल्ट एंड रोड इनिशिएटिव इज गुड फॉर द फॉर दैट रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ द डोमिनेंस ऑफ द चाइना सो दैट्स वाई इट्स ऑल्सो अ चैलेंजेस चैलेंजेस एंड बायोलेटरल ट्रेड इज लो एज कंपेयर टू एज आई एव प्रीवियसली मैंशन दैट आवर बायोलेटरल ट्रेड विथ सेंट्रल एशियन कंट्री is very low as compared to china china's bilateral trade with a central asian country is very high so that's why it's a necessary uh, necessary to uh, increase our bilateral ties as well and uh, when you will uh, have the trade relations then only uh, something will work in a very nice manner so th th this is also a challenge and strategic autonomy non alignment as you know that we are following uh, non alignment uh, since independence we are following non alignment uh, policy that we do not uh, align with uh, any uh, uh, powerful uh, group and uh, we will uh, we will preserve our sovereignty uh, to take decisions regarding anything so that's why it's also necessary uh necessary to maintain these autonomy conclusion what will uh, so after uh, seeing all these uh, thing about the issue now we will see that what uh, what will be the best conclusion so despite challenges it may help in counter terrorism people to people tie regional peace and security that will be ensured so see um if we will see that uh, whenever we uh, do anything there is a challenge but uh, apart from that uh, apart from the challenges what we need to do is we need to focus on what we can do best for the uh, for uh, that uh, group and also how we will uh, utilize as as a best thing for our uh, country so what we can do so regional peace is uh, important so in countering terrorism as you know that pakistan and afghanistan and uh, also people to people ties so cultural ex uh, exchange between the people to people so tourism can be uh, promoted uh, between central asian country and the india so that it will be helpful uh, helpful and uh, also the security will be ensured so all the uh, terrorism and separatism will be less then uh, people will be more secure and region will be more secure and economically we will flourish so this is all about the seo uh, thank you